Hello there, I'm Dr. Purnendu Roy. I'm a surgeon in Genesis Hospital, Goshba, Kolkata. Today is 22nd of March and this day is celebrated as World Water Day. Well, you see, if I have a beautiful glass of cold water to drink and we never bother even try to understand that 2.2 billion people in the world do not have access to clean drinking water. So what are we trying to do? We are trying to create actions to tackle this global water crisis situation. The core focus of World Water Day is to support the achievements of United Nations Sustainable Development Goal 6, which is water and sanitation for all by 2030. So the idea is that among the several goals of United Nations, this is one which we are going to achieve by 2030, that everybody will have access to safe water. The theme for this year is groundwater making the invisible visible. The groundwater, which is the underground water actually, is the most important water supply for sustainability in most of the places. It's used for day-to-day -day life, it is used for agricultural purpose, it is used for industrial areas like tanneries, and it's the main source of water in arid areas like the dry areas of certain states where they don't have access to river or pond or natural water supply. This groundwater or underground water can be extracted by using pumps or wells. Now, this is used for our drinking water supply, day-to-day -day sanitation. But why are we trying to make this awareness that this groundwater is not going to last lifelong unless we learn how to conserve water? And that is why 22nd of March, we are trying to make this awareness, conserve water. The areas where safe drinking clean water is not available, like in Sundarban for last 12 years, our trust GECT, Genesis Educational and Charitable Trust, is working in these areas because the water is saline and they don't have clean drinking water access. So we have put tubules in different villages so that the people in Sundarbal can have plain, simple drinking water. The other problem in this particular area, Sundarban, it's the largest mangrove forest in the whole world. There is a lot of deforestation and these mangrove forest areas are declining. Just to let you know the statistics, 5.5% of total mangrove forest area has disappeared from the year 1986 to 2012. So during this period, this much huge area of mangrove forestation has been lost. So how is this loss of mangrove forest area going to affect? The more mangrove deforestation takes place in Sundarban area, the saline water, the water level in the sea is rising and encroaching into the living area of the islands where people are inhabited. And then what's going to happen? How are we going to get drinking water? Next generation in 10, 15 years will not be able to find clean water. So now our approach should be to have an understanding that how do we stop this over exploitation and stop this deforestation in Sundarban area, the largest mangrove forest in the world. Because if we don't stop this now, we, our next generation will not have drinking water, we'll be drinking salt water instead. So what are we going to do? Things that we are aware of, we must teach our children. Habits develop from childhood. Now the, these things we are aware of it while brushing, while shaving, don't keep the tap running. Try to use less water during shower. Only run your washing machine when there is a full load. Don't run half load so that you waste so much of water. Don't use hose pipe to clean your cars. Nowadays, steam car wash is available. The thing is, all these we are aware of it. But should there be legislations? 
should there be water meter because if a person is not affected himself or herself by this loss of water that person is never going to care about so there has to be water meter implemented so that when it pinches your own pocket then you realize we all know that every flush has got a full flush and a half flush so when do we use a half flush don't waste water it's easier to say harvesting rain water but in day to day life we probably might not be able to go to that extent so individually if all of us make this effort if we take an oath that today on 22nd march on world water day we take a pledge that we will conserve water because otherwise our next generation will not have plain safe water for drinking even so we are basically trying to make an appeal to the government look here sundarban the largest mangrove forest in the world is in danger now we need to plant these mangrove saplings so the ngos the trust and the philanthropic organizations the volunteers let's have permission we are appealing to government allow us with our volunteers we will plant mangrove saplings in sundarban this will do the ecological balance of the system and then only we will be able to have free water supply for the future generation otherwise these sea level will rise and saline water will come inside in all the living areas and we will not have free fresh drinking water so those who watched this video and realized the importance of conserving water those who have understood that there is going to be scarcity of water in future if we don't become careful so what are we supposed to do we all should share this with our friends and relatives and take action not just talk about it if you enjoyed watching this video please like share and subscribe to my channel and continue watching the activities that we are doing in sundarban from our trust genesis education and charitable trust gct thank you very much for watching